All right, chip of the day. People like chip of the day. So um, we are going to be looking at a 74175. Um, there's also a 174, but we're looking at the 175 today. So what is a 175? It is a quadruple D-type flip-flop. Quadruple. Um, so uh, this is the package we'll be looking at. Is This is the 175 right here. Um, so it's got about a bunch of D's and Q's. We'll take a look at that in a little bit. Um, so why would you want such thing? Well, it says the applications are storage register, shift register, or a pattern generator. Um, so let's take a look at that. Okay, so this is the functionality of the part. It's four D flip-flops. Now, what is a D flip-flop? A D flip-flop is that the Q and the not Q signals are set to some state, and they will continue to be at that state. That's called the latch. And they will uh, take on a new value when it sees a rising edge on the clock. Now, what value do they take on? Well, they take on the value of D. So if D is high and the clock has a rising edge, then Q will become the same as D, and not Q is always the opposite. If uh, the D is low and you get a rising edge, then Q will go low, all right? So that's the latch part. So if you had four bits of information, here are four bits of information, and you get a rising edge in the clock, that was, those four bits of information get transferred to the Qs, and so it remembers them. Uh, as long as it doesn't clock any longer, those will, be, those will be remembered all the time. If you wanted to clear everything, there is a clear function here, and it sets everybody to, uh, sets everybody to zero. Um, all right, so let's see here. It might set everybody to one, actually, the clear function. Uh, clear function. Let's see here, D, 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 flip flop. Uh, let's see, where does it talk about the, no, oh, we'll see it. When we hook it up, we'll see it, all right. Because it's not hooked up to R, it looks like it's hooked up to, uh, C it's hooked up to R, but anyway. So uh, we are going to hook up a circuit like this, okay? So this will be our circuit. We'll have LEDs, and the LEDs will be on the not Q, all right? So if um, the Q is a zero, then the not Q will be a one, okay? And the LED will not be lit. So when the Q is zero, the light is off. When Q is one, the not Q is zero, and that turns the LED on. So if Q is one, the LED would be on. So it's a lot like having the LEDs tied logically. If, if Q is low, the LED is off. If Q is high, the LED is on. So that's the functionality of it, all right? So when we hit the clear function, then all the Qs will be zeros, and the not Qs will be one, and the LEDs will be off, all right? So um, if we then have some ways of clocking it. We'll use switches to do the clocking. So the, uh, the clear function will be done by this down here. Normally it will be high and if we push the clear button it will um, ground it and it will clear the device. Uh, when we want a rising edge, normally the clock input is low and if we hit the button we'll get a positive edge. It'll connect it to plus V. So this is what we're going to use. All right. So then let's take a look at the actual, the actual part. Here's the part, and we will push the clear button, and everybody goes to zero. Okay. When we push the clear, everybody goes to zero. So all of the cues are set to zero, 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 zero. All right. All right. Now, when we uh, hit the clock, the rising edge, everybody goes high. Well, why did everybody go high? Well, that's because we have floating inputs. The Ds are all floating, which means they're all high. So we have high, 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 high. When we clock the device, it'll take all those highs and it will clock them in, okay? So let's do that again. We'll clear it. 
and then we'll clock in all the highs. What if one of the bits was low? Okay, and we clock that in. Oh, there we go. Um, the last LED over here is not lit any longer. All right, now if you saw that, okay, when we clock it in, we only have three LEDs lit instead of four LEDs lit, right? Um, if we move that over to a different uh, pin, let's see, we can go over to the five pin. And now when we clock it in, there we go, we're clocking in 1101 because we have uh, this bit set to zero, the ground right here. Okay, so we can clock in these different, uh, we can clock in these different values. So this is acting like a register. Okay, all right. Um, so we have, we have that, we have the clear function. Let's do something fun. All right. Uh, let's go ahead and use the, use the idea that a D flip-flop can be a toggle flip-flop. If you tie not Q and D together. Okay. So we're going to add a wire here where we're, we're going to uh, short out Q and not Q. So that means that D will always be the opposite of Q. So when we clock it, it should toggle. So let's do that. Uh, let's see here. We need to put a jumper right, put a jumper right here. So now when we do the clock, we can see that one of those, one of those is uh, toggling each time. Okay, we can, we can still use it as a lat. The one, the first bit is a latch, but that second one's always toggling. Right. All right. Uh, so they said you could use it as a shift register. That indeed you could tie this Q into this D and this Q into this D and this Q into this key. So every time you clock it, it will shift down one. Okay. Um, let's see what else. What else does it say you could use it for? Pattern generator. Hmm, not sure about that. <laughs> um, but anyway, there you go. It's a fun little part. It's a four bit latch. Um, D flip flops and it is not transparent. So what does it mean by being transparent? Um, if you have a device where you have a clock, remember when you have a rising edge, then D and Q take on the same value. All right. Um, so if it were a transparent latch, if the clock went high, then D could toggle up and down and, and Q would follow it. It would just be like having a, a short between D and Q. It just but this is not one of those. This is not a transparent latch. This is an edge triggered latch. So it only, the cue only changes state on the rising edge of the clock pulse. All right, there we go. Chip of the day was a 74175.